Danbury Mayor Mark Boughton, who collapsed and suffered a seizure at a campaign event two weeks ago, today took the unprecedented step of having a no-holds-barred news conference with his doctors. Both his personal physician and the surgeon that operated on his brain last summer say the seizure is no reason for him to stop campaigning for governor. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more on that. Mark. Hi, Anna Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Boughton, who has been mayor of Danbury for 17 years and is widely considered to be a top-tier candidate for the Republican nomination for governor, says he just wanted to clear everything up about the incident and to be as open as humanly possible. The 54-year-old mayor who shocked dozens of Republicans at a campaign meet-and-greet event two weeks ago when he collapsed and suffered a seizure says he took the unprecedented step of holding a news conference with his doctors in an effort at complete transparency about his health. He was dehydrated and he was stressed out. That, that influences things to some extent, but the major, major issue is the lack of taking uh, the medicines because he hadn't had a seizure, but he was fine. Appearing via Skype, the brain surgeon from the University of Pittsburgh Neurological Center that removed a lemon-sized benign tumor from Boughton's brain back in August proclaimed the surgery a complete success. He also said it was clear that Boughton had missed taking his daily prescription for the anti-seizure medicine Keppra, which is routinely prescribed. With him taking the seizure medicine, the likelihood of him having a seizure, I can't tell you it's zero, but it's extremely, extremely low. This is a medicine that people take for life. Boughton's personal physician also attended and said the brain surgery revealed that unlike many men his age, Boughton's arteries appear to have no heart disease producing plaque. The fact that his middle cerebral artery looked uh, stellar, intact and without plaque and, and signs of disease means that the rest of his vascular system in all likelihood looks the same. It's a very, very stressful job, and I want the people of the state to know that I'm up to be able to handle that stress. Now, Boughton will have to have yearly MRIs, uh, and he also cannot drive for 90 days because he had that seizure under state law. His personal physician says he does, and, and Boughton admits this, he does need to lose some weight, watch his diet, get more exercise. He's hired a personal trainer. And Ann, I believe this is accurate that Mr. Boughton has become the first Connecticut politician in history to have pictures of his brain being examined on the 6 o'clock news. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.